Okay, first of all, I wasn't ready. I was not ready. I was not ready. I was not ready. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. We have another haul. And no, I'm not sorry. This is stuff. Some of it's kind of old, but I've been using it. So that's a little different from my norm. And then some of the other stuff is kind of new, so some stuff I am very excited to show you. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I hope you decide to join the family. So please hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of hauls. I do makeup looks. I do some wigs. I do nails. Got a lot of stuff happening on this channel. So if you want to see the hodgepodge of stuff I have picked up in a kind of recent haul, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so we're gonna jump right into it. I'm already looking and realize I forgot one thing upstairs, but it's all right because I got two of them. And we'll start with that. The first few items that I have are from Sephora. I think this was like a sale on sale or 20% y'all I don't know I know it was a sale though I do know that much so we're gonna start off with this this is the Brazilian crush Cherosa this is the spray one of the newer sprays that came out and this is the one that kind of sort of kind of smells like Baccarat Rouge 540 I got two of these that's why I said one is missing because I bought one in the store and then I ordered another one and I was going to take one back and I was like, you lie, you know, you're not. So just go on and keep it because you love how this smells. So if you like Baccarat Rouge 540, this is similar, not the same, but it smells really good. It doesn't last that long, but I mean, it's a body spray. What do you expect? I did also get this to layer with the body cream to make it last a little longer. So yes, I had to pick this up. Up next from Sephora, I picked up the Natasha Denona Bloom Face Glow Palette. Y'all know I love Natasha Denona, the brand in general, but I have, I probably didn't need this because I have both of her big face palettes. I got those for half off. And then I have the new palette, I forgot the name of it, that came with the cheek products, the blush and the highlighter and the eyeshadows. Love that, it is in my travel bag. And then this one was on sale, so I was like, maybe the colors are different. Or maybe they're not, but whatever, because it's cute. So this is what the packaging looks like. I think this was on sale for half off, maybe 30% off, I don't know. But this is the inside, as you can see, she has been getting some love. Love these colors, this blush is gorgeous. The top two are cream, and they come with that little glass flap on top. But those are the shades right there, which are perfect for my skin tone in love. And then the bottom two are a Glow Extreme and a Glow Duo. And I have worn them both. This is the Extreme and then this is the Duo. So I like how this is kind of duochrome. It looks so good on the cheeks, especially with the blush. This palette is so beautiful and I am really glad that I picked it up. Up next, I have the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. I think this was on sale for 30 or 40% off. I don't remember, but I'm actually wearing it right now. This formula is a bit messy. It is very wet, but it goes on so thick and so black. So I did my bottom lashes first, and then I literally just sat like this for like 20 sec, 30, uh, probably closer to 30 seconds, and just fanned it to try to get it to dry before I did the top lashes. Um, this is very thick and I don't even know if you can see my lashes, but yeah, I like this a lot. I don't love the applicator kind of freaks me out, but the formula of this is really, really good. Next, I picked up the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadow Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palette. I think this was like half off, to be honest. That's the only reason why I got it because I don't have any Fenty Beauty eyeshadows and I wanted to try the formula. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews. This is in the Color Story Cadet. I am probably not gonna pick any of these, any other ones up from this set, but honestly, this one had greens in it, so I was like, yeah, I think we can make it work. So I guess this is number seven. I don't know how that goes, but this is what she looks like. Super, super cute Color Story. 
And as you can see, it has this kind of dark green gray shade here. This shade right here is so, so gorgeous. I had this on the other day and I just kind of put it on very lightly as a lid topper. I didn't want to have too much going on, but I haven't used this shade, but I think it looks very, very cute. So anything with this kind of army color story, I tend to gravitate towards. So thought this was a good one to try out that I would actually use. Next, I picked up the Bite Beauty Upswing Full Volume Mascara. I've heard so many people talking about this and FOMO got me. I just wanted to try it. I will tell you, I have tried this and I do like it. It's been a while since I tried it. I think initially, like it wasn't, I've had some mascaras where I try them on and I'm like, this is trash, I hate it. But this one, I was like, eh, it's not bad. I don't remember trying it with a really kind of glam eyeshadow look to see if my makeup kind of hides it. You know how sometimes if you have a lot of makeup or eyeliner on, you can't see the mascara. I don't remember that well. So I'm gonna have to try this again, but I got this on sale. I think it was half off. Next, I picked up the Natasha Denona Glow Face Glow Cream Shimmer. Natasha Denona was either 30 or 40% off, so that's why I went a little heavy with her products more than I normally do. This is what the packaging looks like. Kind of hard to see with my lights, but it is basically a cream highlighter. And that is it right there. That is a very gorgeous shade. It is a super creamy formula. And I feel like once you kind of blend it out, you can wear it a little more bold. You can be gleaming from outer space, or you can kind of tone it down and just have it like a lit from within glow. So I hadn't tried this particular formula, even though I have tried her cream highlighters in the palettes. So yep, I needed to get it. I used some points and I decided to pick up this Sephora Beauty Insider Kiss Print Wine Glass. It says, and reusable ice cube set. I haven't even opened this, so I don't know what that means. I knew it was a wine glass set and it was cute, but now we gotta see what this ice cube thing is. If you don't know, I like wine. Oh, okay. I love having a glass of wine at the end of the day. It's been a stressful day on a Friday night, on a Tuesday night, it don't matter. So this is the glass right here. Super cute, it has little kisses printed on it. And then there are these little cute lips. Let me see if I can take one out to show you real quick. I didn't know this was in here. I didn't even open this. So it's these little lips and you freeze them. There's water in them and then you can use them for ice. So if you like to drink white wines that are supposed to be cooled, you can use this and it won't water down your wine. I like this. Up next, I picked up a Bite Beauty Nighttime Lip Therapy. Which one is this? I guess this is their mask. I know Bite Beauty is either being phased out of Sephora, I think, I'm pretty sure, but this is just their lip agave mask, but their nighttime version. I always get these on sale when I can because they can be pretty expensive. And I like the agave lip mask. It is very thick and it stays on. And then I have some other Bite Beauty lip products too, so I just decided to go ahead and grab this while it was on sale. Another Bite Beauty product I picked up is the Upswing Extreme Longwear Liquid Liner. I have used this and I like it. It is black and it has a really, really small pin, so it makes it easy to use. It's a little different from what I'm used to because it's a felt, which I don't love. And it's kind of like, I feel like, I don't know, I guess this isn't any longer than like any normal eyeliner I would use, but I feel like the other ones I use, I can like touch down here and be really close, but I like this one. It applies really easy. I do find myself like a lot comes off on the tip of it when you first pull it out. And so it kind of makes me nervous. So I start like here and then I work my way out to the edge of my wing where I want it more precise versus it being like super thick and goopy and you can't get that nice little fine point. So be aware of that. But if you like a felt tip, you might like this. You just have to be careful when you first pull it out of the applicator because a lot of product comes out. 
I decided to pick up some lashes. I am still struggling. I love my drugstore lashes and I'm really trying to get better and get into the more high-end ones. I see people who have like huge luxurious lashes on and it makes the look look so much more glam and elegant and I'm just like I wish I could. So I keep trying to find pairs that are dramatic enough but not hard to put on. So if you guys have some recommendations please comment below and let me know because your girl is on the hunt and I'm tired of wasting money on stuff I don't like. So the first ones I picked up are the House of Lashes and Sephora collaboration in Citrine. These look like these are my typical standard lashes that I would feel pretty confident putting on. Maybe I can pull them out and see if you can see them better. They're not too, too thick. Yeah, this is more of like Barbara wanted to get something that she knew she was going to wear. So, yeah, this is more up my alley. These should be easy to put on because the band is clear and it looks pretty thin. The next ones are the Lily Lashes in Miami Flare. I don't even know if I've tried Miami. I think I have Miami Light and I may not have even tried them yet, but... These are expensive and I think they were at least half off. So this is what the packaging looks like. And then these are the lashes here. So you can see they are definitely flared, which is the style that I like. But let me see how hard these are to open. I feel like they will definitely be on the thicker side for me. Well, that band is a little thick. The band is a little thick, but it looks like it could be workable. I just have to get over it. And it would help if I practiced, but I'm always worried about pulling out my lashes. So then that makes me not want to do more. I think this is my first pair of Velour lashes. I am not sure. These are the Velour Mink lashes in SHEEO. This is what the packaging looks like. I don't think you'll be able to see the lash through there, so I will open it. Yeah, so that is what these look like. These are pretty big, and they look pretty thick on the band, so I don't know if I just need to trim them more. Like, I think I kind of have small lashes. I don't know, but I just, I really want to be able to wear big lashes. So I got to practice, but... Yes, definitely need to get these high-end ones on sale. I have yet to do a video with this, but trust and believe I have worn it. <laughs> this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau palette. I said I was not getting this palette, and then when it came out, people started asking me if I was going to get it. I still said no, and then I looked at it, and I was like, that's so boring, that's so plain. And then I saw it in the store, and it was game over. Y'all know what this looks like. You've seen the packaging. I love that it is this shade of green. But yeah, I think I love the simplicity of this palette. But I also feel like these shades come off a little... They come off better than I expected, I guess, is what really got me. Like this shade here, absolutely love. Of course, this shade never fails to be one of my favorites. I love that this dark shade here is kind of like a shimmer. It's not a matte, but this shade is a gorgeous crease shade. This purple is so pretty. It is a matte, but it's just very, very vibrant. It is powdery, but it is very vibrant. So I feel like, I don't know, it just, it ended up speaking to me and it helped that it had greens in it because you know that is my jam. So I did pick this up. I think... I had a gift card or maybe I used my points to get $10 off something. I didn't pay full price for it, but yeah, I bought it. I was happy to finally pick this up because I had been watching for it and it kept going in and out of stock. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Soft Blurring Primer. I'm trying to remember if I used this or not. I think I did, but I can't remember if I was like super, super impressed gung-ho about it. I'm glad I got it on sale. I did not pay full price for it, but I can't remember how I felt about it. So I will have to keep you updated. You'll see it in a get ready with me, but yeah. 
Happy I finally got that. I picked up another primer and this one is a mini. This is the Milk Makeup, what is this one? Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. This I will probably only use in this area here and on my forehead, mainly just to help with the pores part. I don't necessarily need help with mattifying because my skin is now pretty normal, but I heard a lot of people talking about how great it was, so yeah. Listen, order of loves, eyeshadow, foundation, primer. I'm always going to want to try the newest, the latest, the greatest, the best. So this is on that list. This is also another sale item. It is not open, so I have not tried it. This is the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Pore Targeted Pore Primer. I guess this is a little stick. I think when I saw it, it kind of reminded me of the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. And... I used to use that and then I think I feel like I remember it kind of breaking me out. I think, I don't know, but whatever. I wanted to try this. It looks very similar to that and you just put it in the areas that you want to have your pores covered or have a little smoother. I like how the applicator looks. It's a lot smaller than the Milk Makeup one. So Sephora brand, less expensive, wanted to give it a try. I have this already. This is the Sephora Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick. This is in the shade Mahogany. So I picked up, oh, what's the other shade? It's upstairs in my bathroom. I picked up one of the other shades. I think I showed it in a video already. I'm not sure. It's not up yet. I don't know. It should be up. But anyway, I picked this up and I picked it up in the darkest shade they had. And she's really dark. Like have to be careful. Would only use it for glam looks, but I loved it. So I was like, I'm gonna go on ahead and grab the shade that is a little bit lighter. So this is what it looks like. It's just a stick. It is a concealer and foundation, but let me tell y'all something. This smells so chemically, like super, super strong chemicals. I don't know what the deal is with that, but I think that is a gorgeous shade. I like the formula of this. I just cannot stand the smell of it. And I don't know if they're like, discontinuing these or what is going on there aren't as many shades available as there used to be but i have this one and the darkest one and as you can see right here that is still pretty dark on me i probably could no i got enough but yeah you can see this is dark and i think this will be great for a cream contour product this was another all of these items were on sale so i can stop saying that i decided to pick up the benefit 24 hour brow setter this says 24 hour invisible shaping and setting gel for brows. It's a brow gel, period. I don't think this has any color to it. I don't know if you guys have seen this or tried this. Let me double check. No, she is clear. And the brush, oh, she's a little goopy too. This is what the packaging looks like. The brush is very stiff. It's like that plastic kind of bristly. Maybe that's what, and it's flat. This is, I wonder if this is like brow lamination, kind of. I have not done that yet, and I know a lot of people swear by it, but mm, I thought this would kind of like be like brow gel, but times 10 to help keep everything like stuck where you put it. I don't really have an issue with my brows falling or anything like that, but I use brow products. Does this smell too? Ooh wee. Hmm. Yeah, it has a little bit of a smell to it. Um, I use brow products every single day. So, I mean, anytime I get ready to leave the house or film doing my makeup, I do my brows. So, I feel like I can never have enough of these. They don't go bad. And then the last thing I got, I think, from Sephora, this is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Concealer. Concealer would be number four on my list of stuff that I like to buy. Um, I love this foundation. And so that's why I was like, let me get the primer. And then I was like, well, you might as well get the concealer too. This shade is very light. And I forgot I meant to exchange this. And I don't know how long it's been, so that's probably not going to happen. But this is in the shade, ooh, Lord, that's small. Hold on. 304 medium. Maybe it's not that bad. Yeah, she's light. That is extremely light. Y'all know I can make it work, 
but I was curious about this because I love the Synchro Skin Foundation. And so anything to help combat these under eye wrinkles and stuff set, not combat the wrinkles, but stop stuff from setting in those wrinkles, we're here for it. We like to try it. So she's a little light, but we can make it work. So that is all my products from Sephora. Now this is a little bit of a hodgepodge. <laughs> it's almost like the whole part two. It's a little bit of hodgepodge of stuff that I got. I ordered some stuff from Jaclyn Cosmetics. She had her birthday sale and I think everything was 30% off. Is this hers too? Yes. I didn't get a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is why I ordered. Um, Y'all know I had to try. I had to. The Lux Legacy Eyeshadow Palette. That was the main reason for my order. And being able to get it 30% off, I was like, okay, I can swing that. Because I feel like, I remember thinking this was a little expensive. This is the packaging here. Y'all, this palette is so pretty to me. Like at first when I saw it, um, when she did the demo and the advertisement for it, I thought the colors looked very, very light. And I was like, nope, that's not even going to be able to be used by me. But I feel like these could all be lid shades. This will probably not get used because it's kind of dark for a lid shade, too light for a crease. Could probably use this on my crease. And then everything else in here I could use. Maybe not that one. But everything else, it looks a lot better in person than it did when it first came out and I saw the other pictures. So glad that I picked this up. I have not used it yet, but I'm kind of happy I got this one. Then, since I was already on the website, I figured I might as well order some more stuff just to try. You know how that goes. So I picked up one of her putty highlighters. This is in the shade Star Power. I do have some Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighters, but I like, I'm tending to gravitate more towards the like putty kind of cream formula products. So that is what made me want to try this one. I do think it's more just because I feel like my skin has been dry. Oh, I don't know why I thought this was going to be in like her hard plastic kind of acrylic looking component like it normally is, but this is cardboard and I don't think I love it. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Again, this is in the shade Star Power. Okay, ooh-wee, <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, first of all, I wasn't ready. I was not ready. I was not ready. I was not ready. I don't give a shit what the packaging looks like. Look at that. If I was not going to the gym, I would put that on my face right now, all over my face. Baby, you, listen, top of the list to show in a video. Have y'all tried these? Why didn't somebody tell me? Because I had no idea. It says reflective light. Lie detector test determined she was telling the truth. Next, I picked up the bronzer. And this is one of her new bronzers. This is in the shade Bare Babe. And this is the Sun Bathe pressed bronzer everybody kept talking about how great the formula was on these I have my bronzers that I love my Morphe bronzer in Phenom is still my all-time favorite I have yet I need to use my Charlotte one a little bit more because I've yet to find anything else I love more than Phenom plus it's cheaper than Charlotte but these aren't too expensive see this is the kind of packaging I thought I was going to get with that highlighter love this and then this is the bronzer here. I have used this. I like this. It is warm. Oh, I feel like my fingers might be a little bit wet. It is a warmer. Well, it don't look like it right there. It is a bit of a warmer shade. But I don't know. It doesn't. I don't feel like it's as. Oh, what's the word? I'm pigmented, duh, as my Morphe bronzer. And that's why I love that one. I feel like that one's just very easy to put on. I, I don't have to be careful with it, but it can get crazy if I build it up. This one, I feel like I have to build up a lot more, but it's still a great formula and I love the shade of it. I also picked up a lip liner, one lip liner or two? One lip liner and one lipstick, I believe. 
I picked up her lip liner in the shade Bold Brew. So this is a brown because that is 99% of what I wear. But I wanted one that wasn't going to be too... I hate the ones that sharpen. I love a retractable one, but I wanted something that was going to be... Yeah, this is cute. I wanted it to show, but I wanted it to be brown. I didn't want it to be like red brown or too too brown like this feels like perfect everyday brown like the formula don't love that i have to sharpen it the lipstick i oh no is this a lip oil yes this is the lip oil in pout this is pout drip in the shade maple drip i didn't want to get a lipstick i remember because i was like i have enough bullet lipstick i don't wear them a lot and i didn't really feel like there were any of her liquid lipsticks that i was drawn to and i don't think they had great reviews you can never have enough lip oils. I love the shade of this. I think the packaging is really luxe. And we can go ahead and put some on. I have worn this apparently because it has something on it. It has a little bit of a tint to it. But I love keeping these in my purse because I like to wear these just with a lip liner when I'm out. And it still feels very hydrating, very nourishing. But it's an oil with some color. Kind of feels like a gloss. So I guess you could say it's like a hybrid. But I like the formula. Love the shine. I don't know why I don't know why maybe prime day I don't know house labs it was on sale for 50% off on Amazon so I ordered a eye defining gel eyeliner this is in the shade mood which I believe is I don't know this is the component here I can't open it Ooh, it's retractable love no it's not damn it it looks like it should be but it is a purple is it a purple yeah it's a purple but it's like super super dark I don't know I heard good things about her eyeliners and I like sometimes to put a colored liner on my bottom lash line even when I do a neutral look so I just wanted to try these because I've heard good things about them. And then I also picked up, where are you at? One of her highlighters. Now this is her old one. This is not the new one that is in Sephora. This is the Casa Gaga Italian Glam Collection. The 2D Gel Powder. This is in Lolce de Sol. Ooh wee, don't get me to do it. But anyway, I think this packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Very luxe, giving me Tom Ford vibes. And yes, I have used this. This is a universal one. They didn't have a bunch of different shades, but I'm just happy that this shade worked for me because that is a gorgeous, gorgeous reflective highlighter, but I don't feel like it accentuates any texture and you can kind of blend it out a little bit to not be so dramatic or you can build it up and be beaming so yeah love the shade of this not too gold very flattering next we have some products from uoma beauty they had a sale and they came out with a new eyeshadow palette that i had to have so i decided to try some of the other stuff on the website too I'm going to show you the palette first. This is their Make It Black Black Magic Freedom Palette. I have the, oh, which one is it? The one with the green in it, of course. I don't remember the name of it. And I don't even think I've really used that palette. I just swatched it, maybe used it once. But this one, I could not pass up because she has duo chromes in it. I have not even swatched this. The neutrals at the bottom are perfect. If you want to do a matte look, crease shade or crease shade, lid shade. I don't use shades like this, but I guess you could. And it has a black. But these up here, y'all, they are duochromes. And you can't tell me nothing when it comes to a duochrome. So I feel like I don't remember them doing duochromes before. So yeah, you see that switch. You see that flip. I had to have it and I have to swatch it. So I'm going to swatch all the metallics. Ooh, that one. The one in the middle is very soft. They all are. Oh my God. I need to use this ASAP. Okay, where are we swatching? So this is the first one. 
That is so pretty. See, I love shades like that on my lid. I don't do golds that much anymore. <gasps> you can't tell me nothing when it comes to a... Oh, that's definitely a duochrome. It's like green, kind of blue, doing its thing. Absolutely gorgeous. Now that right... Do y'all see that? Oh, I'm so glad I got this. I think I got 10% off. Oh, she flaky. Oh, Lord, that's making a mess. That one is more like that kind of burgundy to gold. I hope you can see it. But she is very flaky and very messy. And then I'm going to just swatch this last one here in case it... Ooh, I love shades like that for if you're doing like a smoky... It's not a, a duochrome. It is just like a gunmetal gray. Let me clean up my mess because this shade is going to get everywhere. But these are so beautiful. Next, I picked up their Trippin' Smooth Face Powder, I believe this is. Yes. Oh, no, this is the primer. I have no idea. It's probably like the Tatcha kind of putty balm and the elf primer putty primer i think it's kind of similar to those but this packaging is very very luxe and let's see how do i use oh no okay it's a little it's a little more liquidy like it's not as thick it's not pressed as hard like i don't know how to explain that it's more like a cream than it is if that makes sense, then it is an actual like putty, like the silk canvas. So you see how easy that spreads out there. Doesn't really have a scent to it, but I can see it's already mattifying where I put it. So I need to try that. It's not what I expected, but I'm not going to say that's necessarily a bad thing. It is a thicker. It's not as thick as I thought it was going to be. I also picked up the Smooth Trippin' Powder. Now, this is interesting. This was on sale at Sephora for a while, too. I got the shade Light because I knew I wanted to use it under my eyes. Very similar packaging to what we just saw on the primer. And when I first opened this, I was like, what the hell kind of sorcery is this? This is what the inside of it looks like. So it is just a circle. There is a cutout in the middle. And I was like, how do you get the powder out? There's no net or anything like that. But when you twist it, I don't know where it comes out from. You twist it and it comes out in the middle. So I have used this and I really, really like it. And my hoarding self was going to buy another one during the Sephora 21 Days of Beauty sale because it was on sale for 50% off and it sold out really quick. Probably a good thing for me. But very smoothing. I got light. I use it under my eyes and it's not too bright. And I don't think it has a flashback. I haven't used, I can't tell you the last time I used a flash, but I liked how this looked under my eyes. Last thing I got is the Salute to the Skin Face and Body Highlighter. I hope this is not a liquid. <laughs> this is in the shade Quartz Glow. Oh, no, this is a liquid. I think I got this because I feel like it kind of reminded me of the Rare Beauty Luminizer. Oh, but it is a pump. Ooh, that's a lot that came out. I knew that was going to happen. Wipe some of this off. Girl, that's a lot. So that is the shade right here. Is that some of that... That is some of that eyeshadow that spilled everywhere. I don't want to mix it because I don't want y'all to think that's part of it. This does give me the Rare Beauty vibes, but let's see. I'm trying to make sure my hand is dry. That is way too much highlighter. That is so pretty. Ooh. You got to be careful when you pump it out because a lot comes out, but I think this can give Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizer a run for its money, and I love that it is from a black-owned brand. The rest of these, almost the rest of these, are... Okay, so these next products I got from the BoxyCharm pop-up shop. This is the Trace Luce, I hope I'm saying that right, Beauty Ready to Bounce Cream Blush. I have not tried anything from this brand. This was super discounted, so 
Y'all always know that it's my reason for it being the perfect time to try it. This is in the shade Vacation. Have I used this yet? I have not used this yet. Look at that pink. Look at... <laughs> Y'all know I want to put some on my cheeks right now, but I'm not going to. It says... Okay, it is a cream. It is a putty. Like, I just stuck my finger in there, and I hope you can see the dent that it's making. But yeah, that is a pink... That's a pretty shade. Probably better for summer, but y'all know I don't care. I wear whatever shade I want when I want. So I like this. It kind of reminds me of the Bare Minerals Bountain Blur. Very similar formula to that. This, I'm going to look and see. I picked up the Natasha Denona Cupid Eyeshadow Palette. This is one of the five pans. I probably didn't need this because I have the love, I have the bronze, I have the retro, like I'm sure. Ooh, look like she almost came broken. Um, I don't think I need this. It's pretty though. I'm gonna have to look because I love these five pan formulas. But if this is very similar to other ones that I have, I may put this in a giveaway. I don't know yet. Don't quote me on that. I have to see how similar it is to some other ones I have. But I think this color story is gorgeous. Very simple. It has the red, but it's not too bright of a red. I think it could make a very wearable look. This, I was so excited to see on the BoxyCharm site. I have wanted this. This is the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Eyeshadow Palette. I've wanted it since it came out, but I was not going to pay full price for it. I don't need to pay full price for any palette, let alone a nude palette. But I love the Lunar Beauty formula. I have Strawberry Dreams, I think is the name of it. That was my first Lunar Beauty palette. Absolutely loved it. I still have not used Eternal Eclipse, but the color story got me and I wanted it. And then this one... I don't know what it is I really don't because I will probably not use these I don't know I always say that I don't know but I love this bottom row and like these three over here and then of course all the shimmers the shimmers are different enough it's not like there's three shimmers of the same shade same tone so I really like that but this is a neutral lovers dream I also grabbed a set of eye brushes. This is from Alamar Cosmetics. I I think it was like $5. And so that's why I was like, yeah, you're fine. I think that helped me get free shipping maybe. I don't know. But there is a blending brush and then a, um, uh, a flat shader brush and then like an eyeliner kind of smudger brush. So I thought... I can never have too many brushes. I hate washing my brushes, so there. I'm gonna put these right up here with the rest of them. I feel like I have brushes from that brand already that I got from BoxyCharm and I like them, so not. there's no reason not to get them when they're on sale. The last three, six items I have are palettes. Palette Heavy Haul. I'm going to show you this one first because it's a face palette. It is from Lethal Cosmetics. I did show this. I think I did a little mini haul on my beauty channel, on my beauty Instagram account, which is beauty underscore in underscore strength underscore official. I know it's long, but I fell in love with the Lethal Cosmetics face powders. And then this one, I think I had a 20% off coupon. I think I don't know but I wanted more of the face powders because the ones I got were really dark and then I saw this set so I was like yep you might as well I don't love the shade of this highlighter that is super gold that is not my jam but this blush was the shade that I knew I was gonna love and this is the hot the bronzer shade that's for my skin tone the video I showed you guys with the palette that I made the bronzer was way too deep so I felt like getting this would also give me another option there. That is much better for one that was my skin tone. That is the blush shade, very gorgeous. And then the highlighter, I just don't love gold highlighters like that, but two out of three, I can work with it. The other shades are gorgeous.
The other palette I picked up was kind of just like, uh, I don't know. I want to get it. I want to try it. This is the Velvet Dusk palette. I think this one was on sale on their website. Any kind of grungy, deep color story that has some greens. This one has purples. I have a crease shade. I have a dark shade. It spoke to me and I said, hi, hi, right back to it. So yeah, I like this color story. Love these dark shades here. I love this formula. I fell in love with it when I made my own build your own palette. So I decided to try some more shades. Now, the main reason I placed my order on Lethal Cosmetics, this is the Night Flower palette. This came out, I didn't buy it, and then I regretted it, and then it came back in stock, and I did not waste, ooh, got some powder, did not waste any time. What is my favorite color? <laughs> Purple, and I love blues too, so yeah. This has some powder kick up on it. I'm not sure from what shades, but... I was gonna try to make my own purple palette and I was like, but I like that one. And so I'm glad that it came back in stock. This shade right here is calling me Lord. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh yes, it's like a pink purple. It's not really, is it a multi, it, yeah. She's a duochrome at minimum. It goes pink to purple. Yep, yep, yep. I am so glad this came back in stock. I have quickly fallen in love with this brand. I gotta swatch this blue. I have fallen in love with this brand and <laughs> I need to get it together because I know I don't need more eyeshadows, but when they look like that, how can you not? Three more palettes. Glam Natrix, what is this called? Nearly Natural. Y'all, I hate how long the shipping takes. I hate doing pre-orders. Tell me that was not worth it. I have not used this yet, I don't think. Maybe once. And I just used it for like a matte look because I was running out of the house. But this color story is so gorgeous. I love that they have these two deep shades here, but one's more like a warm brown and then this is like a charcoal grayish brown oh. mm, mm, mm. i don't i'm not gonna get into swatching i've been doing enough but i saw this palette and i knew i had to have it last two items one they're both from adept cosmetics my first experience with them was the heather austin palette there is a review on my channel if you want to see that absolutely fell in love with it even though i heard some of my favorite youtubers say they hated it and then i started looking at other palettes from the brand and i think this was a bundle set they might have Yo, listen i don't know i said i was going to do more indie brands this year and i have stuck to that the first one i got and i love showing you their packaging because everything is snug and tight and is not gonna come broken this one is the Amunet palette. Is this the all shimmer one? Let's see. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so this is the one that I think they reformatted. Maybe. I don't know. But there's a light and a dark. The only thing that's different is this blue shade in the light or the dark version. The light version has a different shade from the blue. And I love blue, and I think that would be a perfect color to add some dimension. So yeah, I double checked to make sure, and that was the only difference. So I was like, yep, I need to have it. This is a duochrome. I think this one's a duochrome. These two, maybe? I know this one is. Listen, that's all you gotta tell me. If you can see a shift in it, Barbara is probably gonna buy it. And I love this brand. So there's that. And then the last palette that I picked up, I'm blaming this on Jamila. It is your fault. I keep watching your channel and your beautiful looks. And then I go and I place orders for stuff that you say you love. I got the Plain Jane Remastered palette. This is, y'all hadn't even opened this yet. Mm -hmm. Baby, what are we talking about? First of all, let me get this little paper out of the way. 
love this packaging i love how it comes with a cover on it to keep everything clean and beautiful you know try to figure out how to take it off i'll do it later but look at this color story it looks really light but these shades multi-chrome multi-chrome i say multi could be duo whatever but it's not your standard shimmer shade so i saw her pick this one up and i was just like she said it's great she said it's pretty i need to have it so this would definitely be a palette that you would get like another matte palette to use in conjunction with it to be able to create a full look or you can put shimmers all over your eyes whatever you want to do i would pair this with a matte palette but yes absolutely beautiful that is it for my haul video i hope you guys enjoyed it i feel like she was a little palette heavy but that is my favorite thing it always makes me feel good and I'm trying out new brands, trying out different formulas, and I am going to be doing more eyeshadow looks for you guys. I hope you enjoy them. If you do, comment below. Let me know. Let me know which ones you want to see first, and I will be cranking out those videos. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. If you're new, I hope you join the family, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. It's